Hello everyone and welcome to this week's global business update with TA. Logistical woes seem to be on the rise around the world. Firstly, we see the new polar vortex coming up which simply means that there will be a more cold weather for the next few weeks and months creating more flight cancellations, shipping blockages and so much more as more snowstorms and the usual chill weather logistical nightmares are set to return. And adding on to that, there's already a shortage of logistical capacity around the world. They say there is opportunity for about 500,000 more containers to be in use. Well, looks like it's going to be some tough times for those in that sector. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency volatility continues. We saw more than 200, I, I repeat that, $200 billion being wiped off the markets within a span of 24 hours and all this is happening as Bitcoin which mind you was somewhere around $2,000-$3,000 before the pandemic is slowly rising to the $40,000 mark but keep in mind there are also so many people who have forgotten their passwords and as a result millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is about to get wiped off and that too is causing some problems for the investors. JP Morgan, Marriott Hotel Chain and so many other companies around the world have decided to abstain from political donations just going on to show how disappointed they are with some of the new developments in Washington especially with the Trump campaign, the Trump presidency coming to an end and some of the recent riots we saw back in the USA. We also see Huawei, well, being shunned by so many markets for alleged ties with the Chinese government, they're losing their control on some of the electronic equipment and the mobile phone market. But talking about agility, they have entered the smart road business. While in an era where everyone is talking about autonomous cars and self-driving cars, they are going back one step behind and actually getting into the business of building smart roads, roads that can communicate with these autonomous cars and make self-driving or an autonomous driving a reality in the future. Very agile on their part. And finally, we see HSBC making a renewed push towards China. Mind you, with the European-centric banking system as we know it coming to a gradual end, especially with Brexit and China emerging as a bigger and a more strong financial market worth trillions of dollars, we are seeing that more and more banks, more and more financial institutions actually entering China and HSBC has appointed new members in this leadership push and they believe that having Asian leaders driving the growth in China will be the way forward because more than 75% of HSBC's profit actually comes from Asia. That's it for this week and no matter what business you are in, stay busy and keep booming.